Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using a change of base to form a linear formula. So we've got this question here, express 27 to the power of 4x minus 5 in the form 3 to the y, stating y in terms of x. Now whenever you have a question like this where you're asked to express a power expression like this in terms of another one, you should always spot the relationship between the bases. By the bases, I mean the 27 and the 3. Now notice that 27 and 3 are both powers of 3. 27 is 3 cubed, and 3 is just 3 to the 1. And that is the strategy of this kind of question. We take the 27 to the 4x minus 5, and we want to write that 27 as a power of 3, because then we can put it in this form. So I'm going to put it in brackets. 27 can be written as 3 to the power of 3. And it's that to the power of 4x minus 5. And then we can just use laws of indices. Now, do you remember the law of indices that if you have a to the power of b to the power of c, when you have a power expression to a power like this, you can times the b and the c to get the indices together. So that would be a to the power of b times c. You should have already learned that before you viewed this video. So, we just need to times the 3 and the 4x minus 5 together. 3 times 4x minus 5, well, 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times minus 5 is minus 15, so we get that. And now we're done. We've written this expression here in the form 3 to the power of something, 3 to the power of something. So that y, if that's equal to 3 to the y, then by equating the indices, we can see that 12x minus 15 has to be equal to the y. So y is equal to 12x minus 15.